guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you some one-handed gadgets that I bought online, some that have really helped with my independence. I bought a one-handed jar opener and it works quite well. All you have to do is put the gadget on top of the jar that you want opened, press a button and it starts working. The only thing I would say is that it is quite slow and a bit time consuming. Other than that, it's great. I bought an electric nail clipper, which I'd say works if you can use your hemi hand as a support. But I would say if you can't, use the gadget in a clamp so it doesn't move around. I put the gadget in my right hand, press a button to turn it on, and then I move my left hand back and forth to clip the nail. It works very well with my thumb, index and middle fingers, but the ring finger and little finger are a little difficult when holding the clipper with my hemi hand, as I can't hold it in the right position. It would be better putting it in a clamp for those two fingers. I bought a garlic presser, it includes a small black sleeve which peels a clove of garlic when you roll the clove inside it like a rolling pin. You then use the presser to crush the garlic. I think this is great for able-bodied people but for people with hemiplegia it is quite difficult as you need two hands to really crush the garlic effectively. Using this with a non-slip mat could help though. Another gadget which I mentioned in my first hemiplegia video is a one-handed tin opener which is really good. You just place the opener on top of the tin, press the button and it does the work for you. Once it has cut all the way around the tin, you press the button again and it's all done. I bought an electric multi chopper, which is quite easy. It has two speed options, has stainless steel chopping blades and is very good with vegetables and fruits. You cut up the vegetable or fruit into big pieces and place them into the bowl, place the cover over it and then the motor on top plug it in and press the on off pulse button at the front and it starts chopping. I would say the one thing that isn't great is that when it's turned on it moves around quite a bit so it might be difficult for people who can't use their hemi hand as a support. I would suggest putting it into a clamp or using a non-slip mat when it's turned on. On the whole it is quite good but you also need to be very careful with the blades when putting the food into the bowl as they are very sharp. Also be extremely careful when cleaning it. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.